Hey guys, today we're going to go back to chapter 3 and look at section 3.5, which is on implicit derivatives. This is a long section, so it's going to get split into several videos, and there are going to be quite a, a few examples. I want to start with just some warm-ups, though, that will kind of lead into this topic. Uh, let's take the derivative of these things. Now, in this case, we got y equals some stuff plus this f of x here. We don't know what f of x is, but that doesn't matter. When we take the derivative, we get y prime is 9x squared plus 6 plus f prime of x. So we've got an, uh, f prime in our derivative, but that's okay. Now down here, when we've got uh, x cubed times f of x, uh, we've got to use the product rule on this. We've got the first and second. So y prime is going to be first times derivative of the second plus the second times derivative of the first. And on this one, f of x is showing up as an inside function in a couple of places. So we've got to use the chain rule. We get 3x squared plus derivative of sine is cosine. And of course, uh, chain rule says you got to multiply by f prime. And same thing over here, you get 5 times this to the fourth times the derivative of the inside function, so you get times f prime of x. Now, what does this have to do with implicit derivatives? Well, implicit derivatives, you use those in this sort of situation. If you have an equation that relates x and y, but it's difficult to solve for y, you can treat y as an unknown function of x. So just for fun, let's go back up here and look at this one. Let's say that this f of x here, let's say that y was actually equal to f of x. So instead of having um, a y, instead of having f of x there, this would be y and this would be y prime. And what we would get out of this would be an equation we could solve for y prime. So um, here's, here's sort of the general set of steps here. Or not steps, but just uh, information about it. If we have an equation that relates x and y, but it's difficult to solve for y, we can treat y as an unknown function of x. Uh, the derivative of y is y prime, or you could use dy dx if you want to. Um, don't forget the chain rule. And usually you have to solve for y prime at the end. And what's usually going to happen here is your expression for y prime will have an x and a y in it. So I want to do some examples of this. And I think, I think we'll go ahead and do the first example here in this video. This first problem we have, um, x squared plus y squared equals 9, and we want to find y prime. Okay, before we do that, let's just look at this. I picked this first example to be something that should be familiar. That's a circle with radius 3. So if I draw a circle with radius 3, let's see, there we go. And we want to find the derivative, uh, y prime. So let's just, um, well, let's find it and then we'll look at it on the picture. All right, so what I would do here is I would say the derivative of x is 2x. The derivative of y squared is 2y, y prime, and the derivative of 9 is 0. So we've got the chain rule happening there to give us that y prime. Now I can solve this out for y prime by moving the 2x over. So I get 2y, y prime equals negative 2x. Divide both sides by 2y. I get y prime is minus 2x over 2y, which is minus x over y. And that's the derivative. And that's kind of nice. Uh, if, you pick a, um, if you pick a value here, let's, uh, let, let's say we wanted to find the slope at this point right here. Or let's not use that point. That point's, um, let's use this point up here. This is the point, um, let's see, x is 0 and y is 3. 
So the slope here is minus x over y, which in this case is minus x is 0, y is 3. So the slope there is 0. That makes good sense. If you draw in that tangent line, it's got a zero slope. If you were to pick uh, this point right here, the slope there would be undefined because it's vertical. And sure enough, if you plug in these coordinates, 3, 0, the slope is going to be minus, let's see, x on top. So this is undefined. Now, if you want to find the slope at some other point, um, let's uh, well, let's go with this point right here. This point is um, the green point. Assuming it's at a forty-five degree angle, the coordinates of that green point are going to be three over root two, three over root two, and so the um, slope at that point is minus x over y and since they have the same uh, coordinates there the slope's just going to wind up being negative one and that makes good sense if you draw this line in it's got a slope of negative one there so this works so what we're going to do is a bunch of examples of these where we're finding the uh, finding the derivative uh, implicitly i'm going to stop here and I'm, in the next video we're going to do several examples